Green Bay Wacky. I do news, comedy skits, how-to videos, original music videos, and fun and interesting live streams. You gotta go to my playlist. Green Bay Wacky is on all social media platforms. Support me by subscribing, becoming a monthly member, go to my about page for merchandise, or simply share my videos. Hey, it's Green Bay Wacky. Some breaking news. Um, do you remember, did you know that uh, there was a charge being led down in uh, California to recall Governor Gavin Newsom, a Democratic governor that, oh my goodness, um, some people say has just decimated and destroyed California uh, with all this COVID stuff, with all the lockdowns and the extreme measures on the people down there. A lot of people have left California. Um, I'm sure some have moved in, but you know. Uh, but anyway, let me just show you the story that just broke from the Los Angeles Times. Um, you know, of course, they're going into damage control that it's just a bunch of radical, uh, you know, right wing Republicans um, that are, you know, spearheading this. You know, it's not like people can actually be disappointed with Democratic run states and cities. Um, you know, I have a feeling some of these signatures gathered were probably Democrats. Uh, let me just show you the story real quick to scan you over it and just uh, remind you of something that happened in California also. Um, so here it is. Just broke Los Angeles Times. Governor Gavin Newsom to face recall election as Republican-led effort uh, hit signature goal. You know, they have to put Republican-led. How about just people-led? Uh, Sacramento, um, you know, comes from Los Angeles Times. Um, now, they uh, they got the amount of verified voter signatures. Um yeah, you know, Newsom advisors expressed confidence that the governor will defeat the attempt to remove him from office. Um, in the end, uh, they gathered, it's right here, 1,626,042 signatures. Um, now, there's some hoops they have to go through. You can read the story there at the Los Angeles Times. Um, it's not over yet, but I think it's a clear signal to the Democrats. Remember this when this happened? Oh, my goodness. This is from Google. This was when... Uh, Gavin Newsom, who had some of the strictest lockdown social distancing measures of any state anywhere, uh, was out to dinner for a $15,000 dinner, caught on camera, no social distance, no mask. And these are not all vaccinated people. This was before that came out. It was so bad when that happened. I don't know if you remember it, that he had to do a public apology. It was a pathetic apology too. I saw it. He was like, I shouldn't have done it. I should have gotten my car and drove away, but I did it anyway. I had a great dinner. You guys are locked down. You guys don't go out of your house. You guys wear masks everywhere. Uh, me and my family, we're gonna go blow 15 grand. How many of you got 15,000 uh, to blow? And it's not just that. There's so many things Gavin Newsom has done in California that are just enraging the people. I mean, he's pissed them off. So these people gathered up the signatures to have him, uh, at least a vote to have him recalled. It's only the second time apparently in the history of California that's happened. So that's a pretty serious blow uh, to the Democrats uh, down there. Regardless what happens, it's a message being sent. So the breaking news, Governor Gavin Newsom in the hot seat. Um, he doesn't think it's any big deal. Maybe it's not a big deal, but it is a big deal in the short term. It's a message being sent by the people. And I have no doubts that everyone that signed that thing, it's a mixture. I have no doubts there's Democrats mixed in with that. You know, not all Democrats are as radical and crazy as you, Gavin Newsom. That was a hot mic. Sorry about that. <laughs> no defamation of Gavin Newsom. Just uh, sorry about that. Um, anyway, you know what I mean? So look, I just report it. You decide you want to check the full article out. It's all over the internet. It's just blowing up. Um, it's a big blow. I think it's a message being sent. These Democrat run states and cities um, are just being destroyed. They're just being destroyed uh, economically and just, uh, uh, you know, one I got to say this, I just I got to get my last two cents in, my last dig, you know, because I've followed some of the stuff Gavin Newsom's done down there. There was a point where he was arranging menus and items that were acceptable to eat at a restaurant in order to go along with his COVID-19 lockdown regulations. And I mean, they literally were, you know, French fries acceptable or this not acceptable, stuff that is off the charts ridiculous. And it's even rumored. Now, do your own research on this. I never actually researched this. I've heard this a lot of times. It's simply a rumor. I can't prove it. But um, I had actually heard that 
there were uh, businesses that Gavin Newsom was invested in, some vineyards and things like that, that were actually allowed to stay open while other businesses were closed. Now, that would just be a rumor. It might make for an interesting research. Okay, have a good one. I'll see you on the next one. Green Bay Waggy over and out.